Hi everybody, this is Carla. Welcome to my channel, The Happy Bookmaker. So today, I thought we'd do something really creative and fun, and it's something that I actually have not done before. Um, it's, it's kind of one of those, I'm gonna call it kind of a new newfangled thing because back in the day, like in the 90s, when I was scrapbooking, and really, really into scrapbooking, um, I don't recall ever hearing about um, art journals. Um, when I was a kid, I would sit in my room with my sketchbooks and draw pictures and I'd write little stories and I was one of those kind of nerds that did that. But um, an art journal is kind of a new thing to me. So um, when I kind of got back in the game recently, I'm kind of semi-retired now, um, I, I learned about art journals, I learned about junk journals, that was all new to me because what I knew was scrapbooks and altered books. <laughs> so, um, so this is all new and um, I did a lot of, you know, just checking on what other people are doing out there, looking online, Googling. So I found a great um, description of art journaling and it's, uh, I guess this was her website, I can't remember, I checked out so many. But she says, art journaling is about the creative process of pulling together color, words, and images as you wish on a page. Unlike many other forms of art, it is not about the outcome. And that is Tammy Garcia. And um, when, you know, when I was kind of looking around, I saw all kinds of art journals. Um, they can be in, they could be in uh, like a sketch pad. They could be in like a little more formal kind of notebook. Um, you could do a, a handmade, kind of like we do the, the junk journals, you could do a handmade book with signature pages. But this one I thought was really cool. And I first learned this from um, Kelly at Book and Paper Arts. But this is a children's book. And um, so it's like, you know, it's got the hard, I don't even know what they're made out of, but they're very hard pages, so it's really sturdy, really easy uh, to paint on. Um, you know, it takes paint really well. Um, what I really like about this is that they're, you know, it's not too big, and there aren't that many layouts, so it's like you're not gonna get overwhelmed with like, oh, I gotta fill up this whole book. And I mean, of course, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> So I have done one layout in this, which we're gonna get to in a minute. But the way I kind of first started um, was like, I, okay, what do I wanna put in my art journal? Because, you know, I want it to reflect my, um, my taste and just things that I really like. And it doesn't have to be your art. It can be, you know, like, like Tammy Garcia said, just pictures and images, whatever you'd like. So I started by just doing a little digging to get some ideas, like some um, kind of inspiration pieces. Like if I start with one piece, then I can build on it and, and get more ideas. So um, this, these are just some things that I pulled. I'm probably gonna put them together. Maybe, I might change my mind, I don't know. So um, this was a photograph of something in the garden last year that I took. Um, some daisies and I actually think I'm gonna fussy cut around these and put them on the page they're quite big I don't think they'll fit completely um, this is some of my own artwork that I printed on a vintage or an antique um, book page and I like this part up here I think I'm gonna be adding that to the mix because it's got the yellows in it um, of course, who doesn't love a, a nice little kitty? It's, it's got some French in it, so that kind of ties together. This brings in a little bit of red into the mix. Um, so, I mean, this is just kind of an idea for one layout. Um, let's see here. This is another from this, I think this is, gosh, how old is this book? I wanna say it's the late 1800s, but it's got a lot of art and history in it, and I just love this, um, this guy, um, Clan MacDonald of Glencoe. So it's, you know, obviously a, a Scottish guy just kind of sitting there. Looks like he's kind of weary. So I just pulled together things that I thought would kind of mix with that. 
And I will be incorporating some very simple art of my own along with these. But I did find out that bluebells and anemone are, are kind of um, native to, or maybe not native, but they're very popular in, in Scotland. So I pulled those out. And here's another, here's a pretty lady from one of those uh, uh, antique books that I have. I think she's so pretty, I'll probably cut around her and place her on and maybe give her some flowers around her and then like I said, add some, add some of my own artwork. I mean, this is just a start. There's gonna be a lot more than this. And this is, I thought this was kind of cool. So I just pulled this out of a magazine. So I will cut around that. It, it's gonna be too big, I'm gonna have to, I could probably put it sideways, but um, I, ha I just have to use this, I love it. And then this was one of the digital images that I recently um, acquired, and you know, it's a bride and groom, so I thought it was kind of perfect. Maybe mix in some lace and stuff like that. So that's kind of my beginnings. That's how I like to start, here's a little kind of a, stamp image. Um, so once I get my, my kind of, um, you know, the piece that I want to build on, it becomes much easier after that. So let's, I'm going to show you what I did yesterday. And I mean, literally the thing that took me the longest was just deciding what I wanted to use, like going through books and finding what I wanted to use, actually doing this layout, including all of the hand painting. I'm thinking it probably took me about two hours. So this, I gotta find that little book here. This is from a, a book from 1935. I don't know if you can see that. The Mary Out of Doors. And it is full, let's see, this is, this was owned by this guy in 1948. And uh, 1935, I, I mean, I wish these were colored but lots of pretty um, photographs. These are photographs. And then like a poem, or you know, I guess it's a poem that kind of goes with each, each picture. So that is where I pulled this from. And of course, uh, cut out the poem and kind of rough, rough tore it and add it to, added it to the page. But how I started this, I mean, this is something anybody can do. Just, um, first of all, I started with a coat of gesso, which is, this was supposed to be quick drying. I got this at Walmart. Um, it took about two hours before it wasn't tacky anymore, so maybe maybe it's not the greatest quality, but, but it did okay. And I did that today, the day before yesterday. And then yesterday, I just kind of did a blending technique with with um, blues and pinks and greens and to get kind of my background. And the reason I kind of wanted to go with the pinks and the blues was just, it kind of comes from the poem about um, flowers of deeper pink and blue waters and um, you know, the marshes. So that's kind of where I got the idea for the background. Um, these were my inspiration pieces, and I found this kind of cool crane. Um, uh, it was a digital print that I printed out. And um, I did really the, the most complicated art of this, <laughs> which wasn't very complicated, was um, I found a picture online of what a rose mallow or mallow looked like, like the colors and everything. I don't know if you can really tell. It's, you know, it's light pink with a dark pink center. So I just did a quick um, little painting of that. And I, I wanted to bring in some yellow. And these are, they didn't come out great, but they do add the yellow element, but they're little suns. So I just kind of spotted some suns around. I did some mark making with a stencil. Um, I've got a little sheet of vellum back here. I did some grasses in the green. And I just really wanted to have something that kind of tied these two together. So I found this old piece of map. And I love the way it turned out. But in the end, I decided to kind of go around and outline a little bit. I used, um, it's a water-based marker, and it's really a dark gray. And I just kind of went around 
and it just gives, it makes them kind of pop. You know what I mean? Like it kind of looks a little bit more three, three dimensional, I guess. Um, I love this page. It's exactly the way I tore it out of the book and I left it just like that. So love, love, love this one. And, um, I think it's just, I think it's really charming and I was really pleased with the way it turned out and pretty quick. So today we're gonna start a new layout. We got Patty Cake and Yankee Doodle. So we're gonna be covering all that up. So how I started with this one was, this was my inspiration image. And this came from a book of, let's see, it's Wildflowers, of the world, and I can't remember the lady's name, the artist, um, huge, huge, huge book. And I've, I've been wanting to use this for months. And so that was my inspiration piece. Um, because I'm doing this kind of in real time, I was a little concerned about doing too much painting because of time drawing and stuff. But I happened to look over at my um, palette because I like to use these paper palette sheets because then when they're done, you can just rip them off. Um, but I was looking at it and I thought, wow, this has really got some cool colors in it. So I uh, so I just kind of, I'm gonna go with this and because it's got some of the pink and some other colors that I can bring in. And um, I've already cut it to size, but I just ripped this off. It's got, you know, it's got some, can you see it? Yeah, there you go. It's got some, lumps <laughs> of paint, which I think will really add, I mean, it adds a lot of texture, right? Because it's not smooth, it's rough. So these two, I just thought were really gonna be uh, complementary to each other. This is kind of like the rest, the rest of the page, but, and I'll probably use that sometime, who knows. Um, and then along with this, I, I always like to have some black and white elements, but I love this bird that I found in, I think it's called Birds of Australia, and it's an older book. I don't, I wouldn't know if I call it vintage, but it's an older book. And I think that this might have come out of there as well. And it's just some, like just some black and white trees, kind of toned down or calmed down the colors a little bit. My main background is gonna be this vintage piece of music <clears throat> stay as sweet as you are. I love that. But, um, and I've already ripped this and done the corner rounding so that, um, cause obviously there's round corners on the book. And then we're gonna be adding a couple of other elements. So what we're gonna start with is I'm gonna start by gluing down this background page with our our favorite glue here. And, you know, going over the fold of the book, or, you know, where the, you know, the, the crease here, maybe isn't always the best idea, but I did that on the other one, and I mean, I do it often, and if, you know, you kinda have to fuss with it a little bit, but it, it works, it usually works pretty well. Sometimes it'll kind of bunch up and I, you know, you kind of got to watch that. But, you know, it's something that I, I can always fix. And then, you, you know, if you don't want to do it that way, of course you can cut it. So, let's see here. There's that. Okay, so here's where it gets to be a little bit like, you got to deal with that fold. It worked out really good on the last one, so I'm hoping this will work. It actually went, I don't know if you can tell, but it really worked nicely into that groove there. So there's that. Find my bone folder, which, why is it always like a million miles away? I, sorry. <laughs> There's that. Just gonna kind of rub that down, get it into that crease. And you know what? I did it wrong because I was supposed to do this first. Let's see. How did I have this? Okay, like 
Wait a minute. Yeah, like this. Okay. Because I want this paper coming down. I mean, I didn't do it wrong because it's not even glued there. I want this kind of going over this. So I should have probably started with this. We'll see how this sticks. It's kind of got, it's kind of a really smooth finish. And of course on the other side, because it's a paint palette, it's a little bit shiny. It's not really shiny on this side. So I'm thinking it'll work. And again, you know, this is just for me. And you know, it can be just for you. I mean, you can, you can give them to people if you want. You can, these, these would be really nice gifts for people. Like if you know, like, oh, they love this kind of art or, or whatever. Uh, or they love birds, or they love flowers, and you know, to do a little art journal like this. I mean, this book cost me 99 cents. It might have been less. It might have even been like one of those other sales that they, that they have at Goodwill um, or the Ark. So now I'm gonna go down with this. We'll see. We'll see how this holds. How are you gonna hold up there? Trying to get too full of glue here. Purposely, I'm gonna fold this over. Because I want it to get that fold. See, it's starting to get that little fold there. We want that because paper doesn't stretch. <laughs> so I want it to really. It didn't right away on the other one either. And then I put a piece of plastic in here and closed it up and then it it kind of did it on its own later. Okay. So. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, so now we're gonna come in with our inspiration piece, this pretty flower. And I kind of played around with, you know, do I want it up here? I mean, you know, did I want it over on this side of the page or, or the book or, you know, how do I want it? And I kind of came up with, I wanted it to kind of be, I kind of didn't want to cover up these words, but there's really no way to sort of get around that. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to put this guy down. So I just have to kind of know where I'm gonna do that. Let's see if I can mark it with a pencil. I wonder if I can do that. Let's see here. Because I think I'd like it to be. Let's see here. I kind of took a picture of how I wanted it. Yeah, we're going to do kind of like, I'm just going to make a couple of marks so that I know where I want to place it again. down and the reason I'm putting this behind it is just to give it a little bit of contrast and pop because I mean it looks nice like this I like it but when I add a little bit of this black and white I think it just really you know it just really makes it pop it'll make our picture pop and this was, you know, kind of the main inspiration. So, see, I like that. It just kind of, you know, sticks out a little bit. Now, we're gonna put this guy down. And I'll probably do a little outlining like I did on the other layout to, um, you know, add a little depth and interest and I'm kind of playing around with the idea of doing like that pinkish color. Let's see. I don't want to move this too many times. Is that pull you down a little bit. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty pretty. Pittles. It's sometimes hard when you're first putting on your glue to get every single 
little spot. All these little points. Okay. Did I not get any? I thought I did. Okay. All right. Pretty, 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 pretty. Need a paper towel. There we go. All right. So we've already got that much done. I mean, it really, once you decide what you want to do, it really goes pretty quick. So for this layout, because this is <laughs> from a palette where I created um, artwork, this on this is going to be my artwork. Um, it's, you know, I created it. It's, I think it's visually interesting. And it, like I said, it's got the texture. Um, and I just, I'm not sure how, you know, how quickly I can do a painting in a video. So we're gonna have to work on that. Um, now, I have this little guy who I love, but again, he needs a little bit of contrast. So I think we're gonna lay, oh, this is a, this is really old. I think it's from, oh my gosh, I don't even know. And I got it in a bundle that I bought from somebody could even be from like the 1600s it's at the earliest or the yeah the earliest 1800s or the latest I should say um, so let's see it's in German I guess it doesn't matter what side you use I like them both okay so we're gonna just put this down here I'll have to be careful gluing that because it's really fragile and this is my thinking and then lay him here I had this, I don't know where I got it, but this kind of a page of, like a magazine page of words. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And I just like kind of tore this out. I mean, there was a bunch of words on it. And I, I don't know, they might've meant something, <laughs> but this is how I mean it. So I just wanted to add a little verbiage here. And we're gonna, and then I just, this is just a piece of a paper bag and I stamped joy on it. It's even a little bit bent, and I'm just gonna like stick that over here somewhere. So this is kind of the main layout, and then I'm gonna probably add in, um, I don't know, some stenciling or mark making or something like that. So, and then like I said, maybe some outlining. So, I may not get all of that done, in this video just to uh, you know save time but you will you will see the finished product if if I don't completely finish today at some point it will probably be my thumbnail so Check that okay now I gotta be careful with this I've done this before with the bone folder and <laughs> ripped this old paper because it's really fragile. Okay. I'm going to go with this little guy. This book had so many cool bird pictures. And some of them were just, you know, photographs, which I like too, but I like more of an illustrative look. So I like more drawings. And, and you know, kind of the same with flowers. I usually like more of a botanical artwork and stick him here and he's kind of looking he's kind of looking at the flower I think yeah and we're leaving leaving it so that you know this pink is reflected here and there's some red so it kind of all pulls together I wanted to make sure that you could still see the pink His beak is a knockdown. I gotta be left handed for this, and I'm not. Okay. Oh, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Got, <clears throat> got a lot of glue there. And a little bit more here. Oh, that is so cool. 
I love this. I just love it. Okay. If I do say so myself. Okay. Now, and again, I, you know, I spent quite a bit of time kind of working out the collage design for this last night, um, you know, to save time. But honestly, that's what takes the time. Doing the constructing, not much time at all, as you can see. I mean, we're 25 minutes in and I spent, you know, the first five minutes just explaining what, a, what an art journal kind of is. So let's see here. Now, if I was actually painting something on here, yeah, I would take longer. And if you, if you don't think that you are artistic enough and you don't think that you can do an art journal, absolutely not true. You know, what I did on this previous layout, not like, you know, Van Gogh <laughs> or Monet. Anybody can do that, I promise you. You can take a brush and swipe it across the pages and blend it in together, and then you can just use images, you know? You could you can draw stick people if you want. You can, you know, it can be drawings, it can be paintings, it can be what you know, whatever you, whatever you find pleasing to your eye. And do that. Lap you a little bit. Yeah, I really like that. I must have bumped the camera because we're crooked again, but that's okay. All right, so we've got that. That little guy just don't want to stay down. Yep, I didn't bump the camera again. Okay. All right, so now I love this. I love it. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is um, a little bit of, I don't know, I could do, could do a dragonfly there. That would be kind of cool. Or I could do a butterfly. I could do some sort of mark making. Believe it or not, this is, oh, it's gonna be really hard to see. This is a stencil, and it's made out of like paper, like kind of a cardstock. And I got these at Michael's a long time ago. The whole pack was like, oh my gosh, it was like, I wanna say it was less than five bucks. And there are many, many of them in there. But, um, you know, so you use it, it, you know, it probably doesn't last forever. And then, you know, you have to get another one sometime, but there are tons of designs and, you know, like it's, it's cheap enough to, you know, you just throw it away when you're done. So, cause I just can't imagine that this is going to be sturdy forever. I should have poked out these little holes beforehand. So what I also thought about doing was laying this down kind of random doing, yeah, let's do that. So we need to decide what color do we want to put on. How about this, uh, this red color? We could do blue, we could do pink. I've been doing a lot of pink lately, so I think I'm gonna go with the red. And let's see, just put a little bit on my palette. I do have it right there, some of that blue. And I haven't used these for a stencil before, but we're gonna try it. I got these in a, like it's a multi-pack. Where the heck did I get that? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> it might have come in, a, in my pack of inks that I got quite a while back. Uh-oh, don't do that. Okay, so I don't want this to be Perfect. Wet my thing a little bit. But I'm just trying to get some other colors going. If you know what I mean. Let's see. And it can go off the page. We'll see. I mean, how bad could it be? Yeah, I like that kind of going off the page. I'm going to add a little depth and interest. Ooh, that's really cool. I love that. And you can see how it, it ties in together with the blue on the other part of the page. 
I might do another one in another color. However, I think I do want to do maybe this dragonfly or something down here, adding in a little bit more black. Let's see, I might actually just do that. It's down now. Yeah, I like that. It's not super strong. I, you know, it's not super dark, but. Now, what other color should we do? I think we gotta do some red. I think I was gonna do red and then picked up the blue <laughs> before. I got distracted, that happens. You don't need a lot. I'm putting down A teeny tiny little glob of paint. It's hard to tell this is a, a used palette, but it's right there. And my blue was right there and I just kind of spread it around. Let's see here. I need another one of these. I'll use this, this littler one for this. And where do we want it? Oh gosh, do I have to wipe that off? Let's see. I'd have to wipe this off. Oh, it's already dry, okay. So I feel like throwing in something in this kind of area, in the red, could be fun. It's, it's so big, it's like in my way. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay. And this is kind of going right over the page crease too, which is kind of cool. And it doesn't have to be like completely filled in. As a matter of fact, I don't think you'd want that. Yeah, just a few little marks, just to kind of pull in that color. I really like that. Maybe we'll do a little bit more of that red. I like the red. Maybe we'll do a couple of them down in this little corner. Get some more paint. This is just, sorry I should have told you, this is just acrylic, master's touch, nothing, nothing fancy or expensive. Um, Okay, and down, yeah, let's just go down here and we're gonna go off the page a little bit. Bounce, 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 bounce. And even a little bit into here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I like that. Okay, now the last thing I kinda wanna do um, at least I'm saying the last thing, but it's very possible. I'll look at this later <laughs> and want to do something different or, or want to add some more stuff to it. So let me get my painting supplies out of the way here. Um, so I've got these water-based brush markers and this was the one I think I used yesterday, but I thought it could be fun I wonder if that's gonna be really dark. To go around lightly with this pink around this flower, I think that could be a lot of fun. And then maybe with this um, sort of gray, there's a, this one is black, and, or is it, or is that kind of purple? Maybe, the, oh, this is the dark, this is the gray one that I had. My black one, I don't know where that's at, but I'm not gonna use black. Okay, so let's do, let's do a little bit of this. I may not get all of this done today, like I said, because ugh, might, <laughs> might take too long, but let's just see. Okay, now, let's hope I don't screw this up, okay. 
I mean, it's it's impossible, right? To screw it up. I notice with these two that when you go around paper, the paper kind of, ooh, I like that. The paper kind of absorbs it. Can you see? Look what that did. Just a little bit of that pink. So I'm just gonna kind of go around. And it doesn't like it as much on this shiny kind of paper, but it's gonna stay. It's not like it's gonna be, it's water-based, but I'm not gonna be like washing. <laughs> I'm not gonna be washing these pages and um, you know, it's not gonna be, I don't know, my camera's doing something weird. Um, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, it seems to be wanting to focus. Okay. All right. Just kind of keep going around it. I just love the way that's looking. So, I'm not gonna finish that one right now because I wanna kinda look and see what this dark gray looks like around, I'm gonna try to go around the bird a little bit just to make him look like he's, you know, like maybe there's a shadow behind him. And you see how the paper just really kind of sucks up that ink you can also use like a, you know, a colored pencil. There are pencils that you, um, I think they're all black, but you put them down and then you can add water to the, you know, add water to it with a brush and it makes it look like you've painted around it. Um, I just really like these because I, I like the, the control that I have. Yeah, I like that. I like the way that pops. I really like that. So um, there's quite a bit more of that kind of thing to do on here. And I might decide, like I said, to add some other things to this. Um, I mean, I think it looks pretty full, but you never know. I might come up with another a little idea. So I think I'm gonna end this here for today. But you can see how quickly this really did come together. And, you know, I now have pretty much two layouts done. When I'm done, I will lay a, a piece of like plastic film. Um, I had one laying out here. I don't, I can't find it at the moment, but like in between this and close it up and probably like, you know, maybe put some weight on it or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the cover of this yet. It's gonna depend on what I do you know, throughout the book, and it might, you know, that might inspire me. But um, that's it for today. Uh, I love this, I love the way it's turning out. I'm gonna do a little bit more to it. I hope you found it fun and useful, and um, it inspires you to maybe do something like this. It's really relaxing, really calming, and the time just flew, like, doing this. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, please um, give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't and um, you'll see the finished result of this at some point. Thanks so much you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.